What's up guys, how you doing? Welcome to another video. So we're down in my conservatory again. This is soon gonna be the place where pretty much all my videos are filmed. I'm still in the process of building the space down here, turning the office upstairs um, into another bedroom basically. It's coming along, look, here's kind of where we're up to. It, it's certainly coming along, but I've got another video with a bit more detail about that, summer, that kind of stuff coming real soon. Today we're talking sports photography, and today we're talking about my pitch side nest. And by my nest, I mean my little setup that I create when I'm pitch side at a game of football, rugby, any kind of outdoor sports. What do I do to set up? And in fact, my, my, my court side setup for basketball is basically the same, um, but I tend to not have my laptop with me court side because you have to have that a bit further away just because of the proximity um, of where you are to the court. So today we're going to look at my setup. I'm going to show you how it looks. I'm going to show you what gear I've got around me when I'm shooting a game. I'm going to show you two different ways. We're going to go outside into my garden. We're going to film it in a lot of detail so I can talk you through the different bits. And I'm also going to show you how it looks actually pitch side at a game as well. So first things first, I think it's going to be a great video. We've got to do the intro, right? Let's go. So pitch side setups, that's what we're talking about today. I'm sure you're gonna, guys are going to enjoy this video. If you do, please do hit that thumbs up button. It helps the channel out loads. It helps the video to be more successful. It helps more people see the video and it helps me out a huge, huge amount. So if you're a fan of the video or you're a fan of the channel in general, please do hit that like button on each and every video because it helps me out loads and loads. Please do think about subscribing if you're new to the channel. Loads of other videos already on my channel. Loads of other videos still to come. We're talking sports photography. We're talking regular photography. A little bit of videography here and there. Loads of stuff, so please do think about subscribing. Not touched on my social media channels for a while. Don't forget to go check me out on Instagram, guys. The main place for you is probably my at Rob Samble sport page. That's where all my sports photography stuff goes and behind the scenes stuff too. I've got two others though. Don't forget to check out at Scorchers Photog. That's a basketball specific channel for the Surrey Scorchers. And of course, I've got at Rob Samble's photo. You can also use at Rob Samble's photo to find me on Twitter. So don't forget to go and check those out. Comment on something. Let me know you came from YouTube. It's always cool to see who's come over there from the YouTube channel. So hit a comment on something, let me know. Um, it's always cool to, to interact with you guys. I tend to be able to interact a lot more over there because I can answer the comments and have a bit of chit chat here and there as well, which is really, really cool. Okay, we've got the sun setting some funny glare across my face now. So let's go outside. Let's show you how this setup looks pitch side. And then we're going to switch to show you over at the game as well. So right, let's get out into the garden. Let's go. What's up guys, so here we are out in my garden and I'm going to show you the setup that I have. So literally this is how I would normally sit pitch side. First of all the cameras, I will have my one camera with my 300mm on my monopod. I'm always going to keep that just uh, loose and next to me so I can use it, I can just leave it so it hangs around. I've got a whole video coming real soon on how I go about using um, two different cameras so I'll show you a bit more about that. But right now you just need to know obviously I've got my main camera on my monopod and the other one sits on the floor right next to me now a lot of people would have this on a strap like around their neck I prefer to keep it on the floor it's really easy for me to grab it helps my transition I find to go from this lens to this one right here so I just prefer to keep it on the floor sometimes I'll put it on a towel or something if the ground is wet but I just keep it um, as simple as I can so that's the two cameras I always have this bag within arm's reach. This basically has all of my wet weather gear along with a couple of other accessories like my spare memory card reader, um, my towel and of course all my wet weather gear as I mentioned. So this always sits right next to me. On my other side I'll have my main camera bag and on top of that I keep my laptop. So that's right here. You can see I've got the card reader attached to it. That's on a piece of Velcro, so it's really easy for me to always get to. I don't need to be kind of, you know, finding where it's gone on the cable. It's always just right here. Really easy for me to get to it, so I can just plug my cards in and out when I need to. That will sit next to me down here. That means I can do a couple of things. I can literally use it whilst I'm shooting and reach down and use it next to me down here. Or if I need to do something a bit more intense or a bit more complicated, or I need to do it quicker, I will literally lift it up onto my knee here and I can use it next to me on my knee. So that will always sit down here, always to my right hand side if I've got the space. Sometimes we're a little tight on space and if we're tight on space, the setup looks a little bit different. Let me quickly show you how that will look. 
if we're running real tight in space. Okay, so. If I'm in a much tighter space, which I so often am, I will lift this bag up on its end and I will put my laptop in front of me. Quite often I'll be sat behind some kind of like advertising hoarding or something, which means that I can also have the reassurance that this is balanced up against something. Sometimes it's not, but to be honest, that's pretty steady. Like it would take a fair knock to knock that over. Plus I've got my legs around it, so it's pretty easy for me to grab hold of something if I need to. I still will have my camera on my monopod here right in front of me. I still will keep the other one down to my right hand side. And I've got my laptop then right here in front of me, which I can use whenever I need to. And it just means that the total space I take up widthways is much, much shorter. Because sometimes at the busy games, you will literally have this much width to work in. My other bag, for you guys who are wondering, it sat behind me. And I will literally keep that tucked in behind me to keep me as narrow as possible. Right, gonna jump to actual game. I filmed a game um, just a few days ago where I kind of showed this setup actually pitch side. So let's jump to that footage right now so you can see how it looks. Let's go. So there is the actual setup. I've got my stool, got my two cameras, there's my 300 on my monopod. I've got my um, 7D and the 7200. I've just got a little towel underneath it today because the ground's a bit wet. That's my setup with my laptop, all good to go. You can see I've got the card reader on there, as I talked about. And that's just my bag with my wet weather gear, just in case this weather kicks off today. Looking pretty sunny, so I don't think it's going to, but you never know, just to be 100% safe. Um, I'm fairly spread out there. Obviously, sometimes I get a lot less room. In the situations where I get less room, um, I'll basically put this bag in the back here. My stool will be closer. Um, I probably wouldn't have room for this in front of me, so this might have to balance on top of here with my laptop. It really depends on the amount of room that I've got. But that's my full setup, that's how I like to be. Everything within reach and good to go. So that's the full setup. I hope you guys found that interesting. I'm sure you did. It's probably going to throw up a few questions, right? So please do feel free to ask any questions in the comments section below. Sometimes questions inspire new video ideas. Sometimes they're just things I can answer back in, in a reply to the comment. So please do any questions you got. Please do just stick it down below in the comment section and let me know. Don't forget to go hit the thumbs up on that video. It's going to take two seconds. You can go and do it right now. Please don't forget to subscribe if you are new. I'm sure you guys enjoyed the video. I certainly hope that you did and I'm going to see you guys real soon on the next video. See you soon.